you are starting to see people comparing the 72% efficacy you saw in the U.S. versus the mRNA vaccines, 94 to 95%. Dr. Fauci said in the absence of that comparison, the data would be considered spectacular. How do you respond to those comparisons we're hearing this morning? Yeah. Well, uh, Meg, this study was done at the height of the epidemic across three different continents when a lot of transmissions are going and a lot of variants are circulating. So uh, we have been able to show that across that, we got 85% protection against severe disease, 100% protection for death, and 100% protection for hospitalization. And when you look at the, the challenge of the pandemic at the moment, it's exactly that. It's people dying, people get to hospital, and, and, and people getting to intensive care. And so it showed that across the regions, including in South Africa, where 90% of the patients were with the South African strain, we got this very high protection, including protection for death and hospitalization. And that's where we think it's important. Um, the second thing is the onset is early at day 14 of a single dose. It's maturing day 28 and even further. So we'll learn more as we speak in the coming weeks. Uh, and then it's uh, this variant, which is starting to be very worrying as it has taken over most of the infections in Southern Africa. And that's uh, now also showing up in the rest of the world. So broad spectrum, very significant protection is the key takeaway for us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And of course, we know that that uh, variant that originated in South Africa, known as B1351, was just detected here in two cases that are unrelated to each other with no travel history in South Carolina, suggesting we have community transmission to some extent of this variant in the United States. I talked with Paul Offit, the vaccine scientist at CHOP this morning, who said your efficacy against that variant was outstanding. I mean, tell us what you saw in South Africa in particular, um, the severe disease outstanding, I should say. Uh, what did you see in South Africa for severe disease? Well, in, for severe disease, we saw 89% protection and complete protection for hospitalization and death post day 28. And so that's very remarkable. And it's a combination of antibodies, but especially also T cell immunity. The vaccine, when we developed this, was selected uh, based on high antibody response, but also T cell immunity. And we did a lot of research over the last several years on optimizing a vector, and we combined that with optimizing uh, our, our, uh, the, the, uh, this vaccine, the COVID vaccine. And so that, um, that's what we observed. Uh, we only know this since a week. We sequenced all the strains, and it's clear that it was a South African strain which was present in our study with that type of protection 89% total protection for, for death and for hospitalization. Mm -hmm. So you did the sequencing in South Africa knowing that that variant was going to be very important uh, as you looked at the results from this trial. How much sequencing were you able to do of the U.S. cases to know if there was any effect on efficacy from variants here in the U.S.? Yeah, that's ongoing. We have more than 450 cases, moderate to severe, several hundred coming in at the moment because this is an interim analysis. The study is still ongoing. And we'll learn as we go in the next few weeks as the sequence information becomes available, sensitivity by region, uh, by population. We are going to learn a lot in the next few weeks. But as the South African variant was so significant for the world and so worrying, we made sure that we did that work first and we were able to show the significant in, uh, um, activity on the strains, and we determined those strains were, in fact, in fact variants. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.